everybody welcome back to my channel um so i just got done washing my face and i'm about to put on the prep and hydration balm so i washed my face with the elf um skin regimen that is in the description below and i'm going to prime my face with the tarte um hydrating primer today this is not what I wanted to do just put a little dot and I got this from the Epsi subscription Which is also in the description below. Okay. Let me sit for a minute. While I get my brow stuff. Ready. Alright, let's get these brows done. Today we're going to do a matte foundation. And um, to lighten it up, we're going to use some pressed powder behind it. We'll leave that out while we line, fill in our brows. Ooh. Ooh, what am I doing? I'm missing my brow. That's why I tend to keep the um this palette that I use this with. I tend to keep that out because I mess up. We're gonna go back in 
Oh, well, that's, there, there's hair everywhere. I look on this vanity. Here. All right. So the matte foundation that we're going to use, I'm, I'm going to talk to you while I'm getting all this other stuff situated. Um, we're going going to go in and blend. Um, I will have the website and all you have to do is when you get to the website go in and go under beauty if you the websites popped up there's like three little lines you can click it and it'll pull up like women's men's kids home uh, decor it's the Shin website and that's also where I got these brushes in one of my previous videos, I um, linked the exact link for the brushes. It was these and then all the little ones and then also like the bigger powder brushes. This one I use for contouring. I also have some new makeup that is coming. And, um, I will be opening that in front of you guys. And also, um, be showing you some new things. So, this is the, hold on, move up. The Shin, don't know if you can see it, there you go. Um, Silk Matte Liquid Foundation works really really good normally put it in the brush that has the hole but I'm gonna be combining this this one I also linked that in the previous bit video I'm gonna use my beauty blender the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm mixing it with the um is it this one no no I'm not just kidding. I'm going to put loose powder over it. So I'm going to take my setting spray and just wet it. The tip, the tip of it. I don't really use the bottom. And we're going to put some on here. I'm going to dab it. I don't know if you noticed, but in my previous videos, I went ahead and put the um, eye primer on. When I do liquid foundation, I tend to um, not put eye primer on until after I'm done with the liquid part of my foundation.
and I'm being careful because I have done my eyebrows. So. And this gives you full coverage. There is a piece of hair somewhere. Oh, it's attached. So while we're letting that sit, because it is a matte, so it's going to look shiny for a few minutes or for a few seconds, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. So we're just going in, priming our eyes with the Master Prime by Maybelline. This can also be used as like a shimmer eyeshadow. But I use it as primer because it's a really good. It, I don't know how to explain it. Honestly, it makes my um, eyeshadow stay on longer. But with the eyeshadow that I've been using really don't have to use that need to wash these beauty blenders because they're a little bit on the rough side sorry my hands are now this is leaking no it's not just hand it wiped off Alright. All right. So I normally just blend these with my hands. So just get in the corners. Uh, on the whole eyelid. Then I sometimes come down. underneath the eye. See how it's like really good white primer. So now since we have our primer on our eyes, we have to let that sit. Our foundation has sit, so we're going to go behind it with powder foundation. It's the CoverGirl, the same as I used the other day. That was also in the description. The link is in that, that video description.
sorry. Make sure I'm putting the thing back in there. So today I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics that's also in the um, description below. Just click the link and her website comes up. She also has more, um, she has a blush palette, hold on I can tell you. She um, has the uh, the summertime fun. Whoa, sorry. Oh, you can. Oh. Hmm. I want to show y'all. Anyway, she has that summertime fun palette that I told you. Guys, she also has this palette, the one that I have right now, which is the Nude and Pure, or Pure and Nude. She also has the Ultimate Glow, and this has just about every color you can ask for. All these products are um, paraben free, cruelty free, it's high quality very 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 good makeup so also I'm going to be using the let me turn the light back on okay. and also I've been having a lot of comments of the light that I use it has a mind of its own <clears throat> it's from Shein it's a light up LED mirror that's also in the description below and this is part of the um is Pacifica. It comes in the Etsy subscription, which is also um, subscription, which is also in the description below. Um, I just got this, so I'm kind of actually excited to use it. But we're gonna do pure first as our base. And we're gonna use this blushy color. Whoa, if I don't drop it and it goes everywhere. Okay. Blushy color, I said. Blushy color. And this eyeshadow goes on really good without primer, so that's just like a little hint. And you know what? I just did the wrong one. I told y'all the wrong one. Sorry. We're just going to take this off. And I'm going to take my beauty blender and go back over. Sorry guys, I did not mean to do that. I told y'all the wrong color. <laughs> that was my fault. Right. We're not gonna prime it where it should continue to go. All right. I told you the wrong one. For the base one, we're gonna use this top one, the one right above it. So this one right here, we're gonna use. Sorry, very sorry. Because you want more of a natural color as your base, in my opinion.
but please check her website out. She um, also has a blush palette. My Summertime Fun or Summertime Fine palette was shipped this morning, so be looking out for wild color eyeshadow tutorials on how to use it. Okay, now on to the crease and the lower or the top of the lid. We're now going to go in, sorry, we're going to now go in with this one right here. The first one that we went in with that we shouldn't have one in with. So I'm taking my, just a more wider, rounder, rounded brush and I'm just tapping it into the color like this. Hold on, let me show you. Like, like this. So I'm not like caking it up there on the brush. And how I told y'all in the last tutorial was pat outside and get this to like make a statement. And then you gradually blend it into the crease. Into the upper eyelid. Once you get that crease with a little bit of color, you can rock the rest. You can make this as bold as you want. I like to make a statement, so. Like that right there. I do that every time. See how I got them bold right there on the ends. This one looks like a little bit 
And I just did that same crap again. I try not to go all the way up to my eyebrow. I'm trying to work on that. And to clear that up, all I do is I go in here with this light shade. And I just tap it on a little tiny brush. Tap. And just ever so slightly just run over the spot. So there that is. <clears throat> now we're going to use the Pacifica eyeshadow palette that I got in the Epsi bag for April. And we're going to use... this angle brush and we're gonna go in since we're doing like a um no this is going on my lid I don't need that I need something I can spray such a pretty one and that is this one alright so I have a flat eyeshadow brush and I don't know why these some of these hairs are sticking out and it's bothering me So we're going to take this brush, and since we have like a blushy look, it's blushy. I don't think it looks blushy. It's like a rustic, I would say. So we're going to go with this rose gold glitter right there. You can go with that one, or you can go with that one, but I'm going to go with this one today. Flower. Okay, this one is flower. Crystal. Tiger. Smoky quartz. Oh, hold on. Crystal flower. <laughs> Tiger. That does not look. I don't know. The shades are here on the back where it says shades, but it. I don't, I don't know how you read it. Anyway, we're going to go with this rose gold looking one right here. So I'm going to put it on my brush. And remember, I'm all about that bottom lid, the bottom of the eyelid popping. So I put it on here, take my setting spray, I give it a good spray, and I apply it to the lid. Out like and we're going to go back and blend it, so don't worry. So there we got it. And spray. Whoops, I missed the brush two, three times. Spray it on my hand instead. 
And then we're going to place it on the bottom lid of the other eye. So there they are. <clears throat> so, um, let me put this down. Put this up. Uh, let me see what else we're gonna do. I was on contour with this new concealer that I got, also from the Epsi. Glam bag, it's Be Bright and it's by the Koki Professional. Um, and it's a highlighter too. So I was going to use it as that, but I've got to soon get off of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight and bronze with the same ones that I have been highlighting and bronzing with. So the Ofra bronzer, I'm going to put it on with the fan brush that's to blend it sorry we're going to use this brush it's um a pro precision tapered brush so I'm just applying it giving my face a little bit of shape sorry the fan brush has to do the this okay I can blend that out And then I just take my, um, I have like a oval brush and I tap it till there's enough on here. And I go down this side of my nose, if it'll do it. not working to everything I touch dealing with makeup today is like no, not working just gonna blend that in I don't know it's better if I just contour my nose with my fingers kind of gives my nose a shape slimmer shape so we're gonna put this bronzer soak this bronzer in a little bit I will eventually show you guys how to use that baking bronzer that I got. I tried to use it, I think I did, on um, a tutorial in my past. And it did not go over well because my skin tone is not as dark as that was. Oh, I also need to blend out these, um, my eyeshadow, blend it all in together. So now we're going to go in with the Estate, which is also, um, the highlighter that came in the April Glam Bag from Etsy. I'm telling you guys, Etsy doesn't send you crappy, crappy stuff. 
that tapered brush that I just used, it was from there. So, I mean, and sometimes you'll get full size products, sometimes you won't. It's like a hit, a hit and miss type thing. But this is a full size cleanser. It's a whip, a clean whip cleanser. And it literally comes up as a whip, like a whip. But it's a full size. So, just saying. I have not used that yet, but I will let you know. We're not done with the setting spray yet. Um, blush. I've got everything up here. If y'all saw my vanity right now, y'all would probably be like, how is she functioning? Because I wonder that too sometimes. So I'll just get a little bit of rose. A little bit of rosy cheeks. And then we blend all that in. One little choo choo choo. Okay. And we just have lashes to do. Excuse me. I thought I was going to be off in time. So, again, I'm using the CoverGirl Expeditionist. In the previous video, I have linked all the websites that I used to get this stuff. But you can get this at like CVS, Walmart, Walgreens. Oops. And you see where I just messed up? I'm letting that dry and I'm going to show you a trick. That's why I use the other one. I'm also gonna let that dry. <laughs> But you see how that lash right there is like stuck together? That's why I go behind that one with the Wet n Wild Mega Link. And you can get that at Walmart. So there are our lashes, so we let these two little things dry. Now instead of like taking a brush, licking it, scrubbing it, whatever, 
we just take this spirally clean one preferably and just ever so lightly rub it across and ta -da, goes away last but not least we're going to spray this with setting spray And I just did a light touch of lipstick because I'm not a very big lipstick fan. But hopefully I will be with this new makeup that's coming. Alright guys, check the links in the description. There's one for uh, the LED Mira, Elf, Shin, and Pure Cosmetics. Thanks.